Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi, walking and talking the beach in Phuket today again. I have five amazing Bitcoin charts, one amazing Bitcoin trading tip, of course a travel tip, of course some live advice and of course talking about the news and of course you shouldn't be distracted again every day in my videos i will make sure you will be distracted <laughs> that's like coincidence every time again and again and again guys now let's quickly jump into the charts because the police starts to search for me ah there they come they know i have hidden my bitcoins in bitcoin thailand <laughs> let's jump into the charts and then after that i will take you to a beautiful trading tip but at first jump into the charts because bitcoin just touched the amazing 38k level again The first chart of the day, guys, is a four hour chart. Look how beautifully we almost touched 38,000 US dollar, guys. And you can see that beautiful buy signal over there. Of course, on the Bitcoin family indicator, we closed above that yellow stepping line. We started to come some green, and the green line was on top, a blue line was above the white line. So, perfect combination to take that long. Would have been a beautiful long on the four hour chart, guys. Almost hitting 38K beautiful short-term chart but let's jump into the zoomed out charts guys because they are way more important before i do that guys i want to remind you that at the moment bybit has a new debit card and it's now the possibility for newcomers to get this debit card and get directly 25 euros back on their card so it's 10 euros a card bonus five euros card bonus if you do one purchase and 10 euros uh, bonus if you do your first deposit so if you don't have the bybit debit card yet use the link down below the video that's a special link created for you guys out there and then you can get this bonus a beautiful bonus of 25 euros just by applying for the debit card but you need to use that link down below the video a special bybit debit card link then the first chart guys this is the bitcoin realized cap hodl waves look how beautifully we can see that each four year cycle more and more people hodl their bitcoins longer if you now look at the top at the moment we can see even a little bit this darkish, bluish, greenish color that we didn't see at the previous two tops. This means a lot of people are holding a Bitcoin between five years and seven years already. I think the next cycle, a lot of people will hold a Bitcoin between seven and ten years. But this is perfectly to see again. This is the moment that people are buying and still holding also their Bitcoins. Because around the bull market tops, then we can see that hollow wave going down. You can see these colorful waves going to the bottom again. Because that is the moment that people took their profits to the bull market up. So they're not holding their Bitcoins anymore. So that is the moment that less people hold all the Bitcoins for longer than seven years. But as you can see, even at those tops, even at the last drop, 21, people still were holding their Bitcoins. And those people that kept holding their Bitcoins in the bottom over there, and the Bitcoin price was at the top, are now probably the people that are in that darkish, bluish, greenish color now on the top. Because they did huddle, so they held longer than seven years. Beautiful job. Now we have the Bitcoin price on this date. So yesterday the Bitcoin price was at 37,365. If we look back to 9 November in 2022, we were 130% lower than the current price. So yes, if you would have bought the bottom, you would already have a profit of 135% profit. But then people will tell me, yeah, but if I bought in 2021 around the top, I'm still in loss. Yes, you would still be in 45% loss, but that won't take very long anymore before you will be in profit as well. I would then say, ah, maybe if you bought in 2019, when I already told you at 8K, you would now be around 300% in profit. So you can look at different ways at this chart, but the thing that you can see is that these bars are becoming higher, higher and higher. And this is the first lightish bar that you can compare to 2019, four years later, 2023. And then we will get two darkish orange bars in the bull market that will show you that the profits will be even higher. Next year, November 2024, we will be way above 37,365. That is something I truly believe in. Then we have the Bitcoin Gaussian channel. You know that I share this Gaussian channel many times. There's also other people talking about this Gaussian channel. On this chart, you can see the amount of days 
from the moment we switch from red to green in the Gaussian channel to the next stop. So if you look at the chart, you can see that the first time when we switch from red to green, it took about 476 days to the bull market top. The second time, it took around 680 days from that moment, red to green, to the bull market top. And now the last time, it took about 830 days from when we switched from red to green to the bull market top. So how many days is it gonna take this time? We already switched from red to green. If it will be the 400 days, man, then, then we will see a bull market top A already before 2025. And if we will see B, it will be the end of 2025. I believe that it will be exactly in the middle. I believe the bull market top will be somewhere between July and September 2025. But also these numbers show us, yes, we are just getting started in this beautiful bull market and it will take another 400 to 800 days, that's one year to two years before we will see a definite new bull market top, guys. Beautiful chart. Then we see this chart. This chart is explaining to you guys that yes, the institutions are there. And why is this chart explaining this to you? The yellow line is the Bitcoin open interest as percentage of the overall open interest on Binance. And the blue line is the CME open interest percentage of uh, overall open interest, which means that the CME open interest at the moment is crossing over the open interest on Bybit. And on the CME, that's the institutions trading over there, guys. That's not you and me. You and me trade on Bybit. Or maybe you even trade on Binance. But the open interest on Binance is now lower than the open interest on the CME, which means the institutional investors are slowly taking over. They are starting to integrate Bitcoins in their portfolio and trade futures on Bitcoins on the CME. More and more and more. Let's see how this will develop in the next couple of months. It could happen that all these institutional investors that were trading now on the exchanges are switching now to the CME or, for example, to the spot ETF in the future, if that would be possible at BlackRock, Grayscale, or one of the others, of which I will talk about a little bit later in this video. Very interesting chart. Then we have the Bitcoin monthly sum of revived supply Z-score. Beautiful chart on Glassnode. Uh, we can see that during the bull markets, we can see a lot of these green peaks. And then at the top of the bull markets, the green peaks become smaller, and in the bear markets, it will be red peaks. Now, we did this time exactly the same again. We had a beautiful green peak at the beginning of this bull market that turned into yellow and into red. Now we had a small run, again green, red. Again the small run, green, red. So if you compare this now to the past, then I think that this next bull market is going to look a little bit more like a 2017 bull market. Can you see that? There's a couple of green peaks in the beginning and then these green peaks keep coming but we have crashes of 30% and higher during these runs in the Bitcoin price. And I believe we are going to experience exactly the same. I think we're going to see this intensive bull market, emotionally intensive, that will bring you to euphoria one day, and the next day you will see a 40% crash, and you think Bitcoin is going to crash to zero. That will play around with your emotions. So be aware of this. I think it's going to be a very strange bull market, where institutions are taking the overhand and trying to shake out the weak hands every time again and again. So we will see some crashes. Like now, we could go to 40k, but I told you already, 30% crash would take us below 30k again with a wick, for example, to 28k. Very important for you now to start to train your emotions, take control of your emotions, and don't let your hands be shaken out by those rich investors that are entering our market and know how to play this game. Now for all the bears out there that really still want to see a very low Bitcoin price, this could be a possibility. Um, I don't agree, to be very clear, I don't agree at all with this possibility. This was made by CryptoCypher20, uh, I found it on Twitter. I just want to share also a bearish perspective because I am a perma bull, I'm really bullish on Bitcoin at the moment, but there are still people that are bearish on Bitcoin and this is one of the examples that could happen on the chart. So he's saying we will have this ABC correction, which would mean we would now go to Bay, which I also believe, 
that's around 50k but from there he is expecting a correction again to 30k back to 35 6k and then all the way down to below 10,000 US dollar per Bitcoin I don't see this as a valid possibility in my honest opinion because we are on a complete different part of the Bitcoin cycle nearing the halving but there are bears that still believe in these prices these are the same people that told you to wait on the Bitcoin 12k price when Bitcoin was around 17 18k I was the person that told you at that moment never wait for 12k it's not gonna happen it's impossible to happen the miners will go bankrupt you should be buying Bitcoin at 17 18k because we go to 30 40k again these people told you that Bitcoin was going to 12k at that moment already and now this chart again they try to tell you that Bitcoin is going to go to that moment again I really don't believe this but I need to share also bearish opinions on my videos because else um, you might get too bullish so waking you up this is the bearish scenario we could drop to 9k that could be a beautiful clickbait thumbnail for my video hmm, let's see if that works I hope you really enjoy the charts guys yes they were mixed signals most of them are of course bullish and yes there were also one bearish chart but to be very clear you should have bought Bitcoin when I told you at 16k and also at 18k and also at 20k and I kept reminding you at 25k and I kept telling you at 28k that if you go above 30 maybe you would never be able to buy Bitcoin below 30 again and now we already touched 37,000 US dollar I think even 38,000 US dollar so now you're in doubt now you're thinking oh shall I still join this bull market or shall I sit this one out do you want to double your money then 37k is still not that expensive to buy Bitcoin because we are going to go above 70k maybe even above 100k then you triple your capital quadrupling nah, maybe if the spot ETF will be approved and all that stuff we will go that level but there is also that chart that it shows you ha ah, there's still people believing that we could drop to 10k so maybe you sit out and wait for that that's all up to you it's your emotional roller coaster that you're going through at the moment if you would have dollar cost average into Bitcoin, like I told you guys, that emotional roller coaster would not have been there now. But yeah, always stay positive. You can still double or triple your capital from today if you start to dollar cost average. Buy a little bit at this level, buy a little bit if we did, and if we did to 10K, sell your house, sell your kids, sell your wife, sell your cars, sell your motorbikes, sell everything you own and go all in. But I don't believe that we're gonna go to 10K, but some people do. Now, let's jump into the trading tip. The trading tip for today, guys, is always use different time frames. If you're trading Bitcoin, look at the hourly, look at the four hour, look at the daily, look at the weekly, look at the monthly. Zoom out, look at all these time frames if you're making your trades. It's very important, the water is really warm, by the way. It's very important that you understand that, that you need to analyze all these time frames that was a big wave look the water is coming all the way over here now it's very important that you analyze the Bitcoin price in different time frames while you're trading if you see for example the 50 minute you can take a long look at the hour chart is there any resistance that we're running into look at the day chart is there any resistance where's the support levels so look at multiple time frames if you're trading Bitcoin that was the trading tip for today travel tip for today is a very short travel tip guys but always carry a basic first aid kit like a basic one like with like band-aids and with antibacterial creams and all that stuff an accident can happen every day guys small accidents or cuts or whatever your children can you know run into into the forest can happen so please have a basic uh, first aid kit you don't want to be running into a pharmacy and finding a pharmacy and um, maybe they don't even sell antibacterial cream or all the stuff that you you're you're used to be using in your country so just a basic one it will cost you 15 euros you put it in your backpack and your basic first aid kit it will help you with little cuts and all that stuff so a very simple travel tip but i'm slowly running out of travel tips so i need to keep it simple always carry a basic first aid kit with you if you travel to foreign countries and um, especially when you're backpacking and not visiting very luxury hotels where they have a first aid help desk if you're backpacking and sleeping in hostels they don't have a first aid help desk over there guys so please always carry this basic stuff with you you don't need to search for it when you're in need that was a travel tip for today 
the news for today guys is about a spot ETF because there was an article on Cointelegraph that was stating that today, that today a window of a week was opening for nine spot ETFs to be approved it's just a small possibility but the possibility is there and you can see already the bullishness in the Bitcoin price guys. now to be very honest in the same article they also state there is a 90% possibility that the spot ETF will be approved before the 10th of January in 2024 and that is a date I can really relate to I would not know why they would approve a spot ETF of Bitcoin just before all these holiday seasons Christmas and all that stuff I would always approve it after that busy season for example in January 2024 so for me the date that I am targeting is the 10th of January 2024 that nine of these spot ETFs of this list that you can see over there will be approved and that would give a beautiful push just before the beautiful halving in April 2024 this could turn into an insane Bitcoin bull market that we have never experienced before because of all of these factors falling together in the same period of time the spot ETF in Q1 2024 the halving in 2024 that's a lot of bullishness at the same time guys which could lead to a huge pump in Bitcoin so that was the news for the day guys keeping it short today because the last two days I made 26 minute videos and I get less views so I need to keep them short then we get to the question of one of the followers there was a question yesterday down below the video and the question was Didi can you exchange Bitcoin into stable coins for example US dollar teller on your ledger yes you can if you download the ledger live software the correct one go to the ledger website to download don't go to the apple store or to the google play store go to the website of ledger click the link there to download uh, that software ledger live and in ledger live if you connect it to your ledger you can swap your tokens so you can also swap bitcoin for usdt so you don't need to go to an exchange is it more expensive than an exchange yes it is I think the fees on Ledger Live are a little bit higher, the swapping fees, than if you would exchange it, for example, on Bybit. So for me, I would always take the time to send it to Bybit, exchange it there to stablecoins, and if you really want to take care of your stablecoins, send them back to your ledger, or even keep a few on Bybit to buy the dip again, if Bitcoin would dip. There's multiple possibilities. So always educate yourself on the possibilities way before the bull market top could be there. Because if you need to start to educate yourself when you are in the euphoric state of partying because Bitcoin is above 70, 80, 90k, you will find that you will forget to educate yourself at that moment. And then when you want to take that step because the bull market is stopping out, you're a little bit too late. You still need to educate and then brrr, Bitcoin could crash in 30, 40, 50% in a very short time period. So start to educate yourself now. So start to make your plan. At which levels am I going to dollar cost average out of Bitcoin? 70k, 80k, 90k, 100k, 200k, whatever levels you think. What are the possibilities to exchange Bitcoin to which stable coins? And if you choose one of those stable coins or multiple stable coins, what are the possibilities to do that? Just write these steps down as a plan. And then when that moment happens that you need to start to do it, then you can start to follow your plan. And the same you do for the next bear market. What are the levels that I'm going to start to buy Bitcoin back again? On which exchanges? Or which swapping mechanism? Every time, again, 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 make a very clear strategy and keep to that strategy. That is the answer to the question of that follower. I'm sweating already, but it brings me to the end of the video, guys. The live tip. While talking about education before, I'm going to make the live tip also about education. You need to keep learning. Always keep learning. Try to learn as much as possible, educate yourself as much as possible, and experience as much as possible. You need to seek knowledge and experiences to expand your horizon and to grow as a person. Stay curious. Always have the intention to learn. Start to listen to people instead of only speaking. When you speak, you only repeat what you know. When you start to listen, you might learn something new. Be curious. Never stop learning. I think it's one of the most important life lessons that you can have. That you always need to be eager to still learn and educate yourself. If it is Bitcoin training, educate yourself how to trade Bitcoin. 
If it is traveling, educate yourself how to become a better traveler. If it is swimming, educate yourself how to become the best swimmer. And if it's playing football, educate yourself how to become the best football player and then try to get as much as possible experience in that part of life that you educated yourself about. That is how you expand your horizon. That is how you grow. That is how your life becomes a little bit more beautiful than it is right now. So that was a very short life lesson today. But I want to try to keep the video a little bit shorter. Uh, but I hope you really enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, then please give the video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. And let me know down below what you think again about the charts, about all the tips and the news that I talked about today. And I completely forgot to mention, yes, tomorrow, of course, is Saturday. So I'm going to do a live AMA in English and Sunday a live AMA in Dutch. So I wish you an amazing weekend. Enjoy the Bitcoin pumps and see you probably tomorrow again.